Ever since, I'll show you how it works. Makes lots of noise. I like that spot right there. Check it out. It's a dollar, it's a silver dollar. Just wait, just wait, it's better. I know, you say, it's like, yes, way. <laughs> Two. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, the last one is my favorite. Check inside of the circle of magic. Can you see inside of there? Check it out. One, two, three. Thank you. Now that I have your attention, let's have some fun with these little guys. The magic that you guys are going to see is not easy. I have to keep my fingers in nimble, tip-top shape. I'm going to show you a couple of the calisthenics that I do to make sure that my fingers work properly. Warm up number one on the left hand. Now you may have seen the poker players do this with the chips. Magicians, we've been doing it for centuries to make sure both hands work together. Warm up number two on the right hand side. Yes, no, thank you very much. One, two, three, four points. Would you mind holding those for a second? That's okay. I don't need them. <laughs> I don't need them because they're in the air, just like the other ones. Listen closely. Number two. Number three. And the last one is my favorite. Comes back. Just like that. How many people saw the movie Pirates of the Caribbean 1? Does this remind you of any scene? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that scene at the end when he was laying in a drunken stupor in a bed of doubloons, rolling the coin across his clickety-clackety bony fingertips, sort of like this? I assure you that that was done with computer graphics and camera trickery. This is what it looks like for real. Watch the coin. It's almost hypnotic, like a little ball. But when you do it on the right-hand side, something really funny happens. It comes back just as quick. Now, during the shooting of that movie, Johnny Depp's character, Jack Sparrow, decided for some ungodly reason that he could do coin magic. He could, but with the help of the cameraman, he thought he could put some tricks on the DVD. You know when you buy a DVD, right? You get the extra stuff at the end. Well, he wanted to convince the world that he could actually do some magic. He cheated. Magicians don't like that. But I'll show you what he did, and I'll show you why the cameraman didn't allow it. Here's the first thing he did. He had the cameraman zoom in on the coin, and he dropped it, and let it fall to his hand. But the second time he did it, he had the cameraman, while nobody was looking, turn the camera sideways one quarter turn, so that this, to you and I watching at home, would look like this. Sideways. Now we know money can't fall sideways. That's against the laws of gravity. So the cameraman said, no way, we're not doing that. Nobody will believe it. So Johnny Depp goes back to his trailer and he comes up with a new way to get on the DVD. He did the same thing. Take a film of this, but this time turn the camera upside down. So to you and I, this, when we watch it at home, might look like this. Watch, falling down. Here's what it looks like falling up. Oh my god. Falling down. Don't blink. Falling up. Oh my god. And falls up the way. Oh, it's okay. Well, it's okay. Dude. And finally, the last one. Nobody thought this was going to work. The cameraman said, you know what? Let's give the whole thing up. And he did. You could actually hear the camera turning off. It's okay to clap for right? me, right? Let's have a little bit of fun with our little coin here. We'll roll it across both fingers. We'll make it go from the side of my pants here over to the other side, and it's rolling. Right there on the, on the little side. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I've never lost my coin before. From one side to the other side. From the front into the back, all the way back out to the front. Whoa. And for those of you guys a little farther back, you'll probably see this one a little easier. <laughs> Big one, thank you! Now what you guys don't know is this is actually 
one of my very few magic props. I know, I'm cheating. It's a rubber coin. Listen closely to the sound of the rubber. You can actually see the rubber if you look closely. It's a wobbly rubber coin. With a rubber coin, you can hide it very easily like this because you can fold it up really small, but then it comes back just as easily. This is actually a Mexican jumping coin. You've heard of Mexican jumping beans, right? They uh, they absorb humidity and moisture, they click when the temperature changes. This coin is a little different. Watch closely. Mexican jumping coin number one. That's what? Jose. <laughs> Mexican jumping coin number two. That's Hose B. <laughs> Jose Hose B. It's a horrible joke again, but I've got a better one. How many people as kids had an uncle used to drive you crazy pulling coins from your ears. Yes, you put the coin into your ear. I always thought it would be a lot more fun if you pulled an ear from a coin. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I don't know about you guys. Oh, wait, look at this. You guys are way too noisy. I've got a ringing in my ear. <laughs> and what I failed to tell you is this. I told you a small little white lie. Remember before when I said the tests were over? No, I was kidding. They're over now. I was checking to make sure what? that you what? were watching. No! 